headaches are so common, they are uh, probably the number one or two complaint that people present to their primary care doctors with. There are very few people in this country who haven't had some sort of headache at some time. Headaches can be caused by all kinds of things. We tend to think of them as either primary or secondary. And what that means is a headache, like a migraine or a tension type headache, would be a primary headache. It is just a headache in and of itself. Secondary headaches are, are headaches that come from something else, like head trauma, from a tumor inside the brain, from some sort of infection or other process going on within the body. There are lots of different kinds of headaches. Most people have heard of a migraine headache. That's very common. There's a headache called a tension type headache. Many people have suffered from that at some point in their lives. The old name for that one was a hat band headache. And that's the kind of pain that we all get when we're tired, we've been working hard, feels like something's squeezing our, our brain, going around our head. There are headaches people sometimes have heard of called cluster headaches where person will have tearing in one eye, their nose may run on the same side. These are shorter headaches, but they're very intense, very, very painful. And some people are more susceptible to developing headaches than others. Migraines in particular are genetic. They run in families. There's almost always a family member. Even if they didn't have a clear diagnosis of migraine, a patient may remember a parent or a grandparent who had what used to be called a sick headache, where they'd have to go to bed and lie down in the dark. Oftentimes, that implies that there's a family history of migraine. With migraines in particular, there's a, a real difference between men and women. Women tend to have headaches three times as frequently as men do, and we think the reason for that is hormonal. A lot of women who do have migraines notice that their migraines get much less frequent once they go through menopause. Migraine headaches are often one-sided. They're accompanied by vomiting, by light sensitivity. Sometimes people will have changes before they get the headache where they'll ha see flashing lights. They'll have trouble speaking. They may get numb on one side of their body or the other. If a person gets a headache where he or she is suddenly paralyzed on one side of his body or her body, uh, or develops numbness on one side of the body or the other, if you get a headache and all of a sudden you discover that you can't speak, or you feel like your head is just about to explode, or you lose consciousness, even if it's just for a few seconds, that's where you really want to go to the emergency room and seek immediate medical attention. An important part of headache management is trying to find out what triggers your particular headaches, and it could be bright lights, could be certain foods that you eat, although not all foods are triggers for all people, could be the amount of time that you sleep, it could be something as simple as just getting dehydrated, and the more that you can work to identify what those triggers are and then be really meticulous about avoiding them, the better you're going to feel. Medical treatments for headaches include lots and lots of different kinds of medications. I tell people that every medication has side effects, and it's really important to ask your, your healthcare professional to explain those to you and to give you some written information, if needed, about potential side effects. Um, there are treatments such as, as botulinum toxin that can be injected into your head in multiple sites that can really help if you have a lot of migraines. There are is a procedure called a nerve block where half of your head can be almost anesthetized so that you don't feel the pain. Those are some of the medication and interventional treatments. And then there are lots of integrative therapies such as acupuncture, yoga, tai chi, changing how you eat, really paying attention to lifestyle. And oftentimes it's a combination of these things that's really going to move a person to wellness, to feeling better. People often ask if there are long-term health implications from having headaches, and research is beginning to tell us that yes, for certain types of headaches, there may actually be increased health risks, such as cardiovascular risk for women who have migraines in particular. So these are the kinds of things, if you have headaches, you really want to tell your primary care doctor about it, ask if a referral to a headache specialist is appropriate for you.